How many of you know what I just said? I said language is beautiful. If you are gifted with the ability to speak different languages, that's such an amazing thing. With our world coming more and more together each and every day, knowing multiple languages is a great skill set. But not all languages are spoken aloud. There can be beauty in silence. Hi, my name is Summer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about sign language, the history of it, how it plays a role in developing deaf identity, and its importance in today's society. So first we have history. So each country has its own type of sign language, and in my speech today I'm going to be talking about American Sign Language, or ASL. So basically the roots of sign language go back hundreds of years to an island off the coast of Massachusetts called Martha's Vineyard. Now the colonists who came there from England and settled there in the 17th century were deaf and they carried a gene for deafness. So over time, the deaf population grew and then sign language developed organically through socializing. So according to the National Institute of Deafness and Other Communal Disorders, the definition of sign language is a complete complex language that employs signs made by moving the hands combined with facial expressions and the postures of the body. It is the primary language of many North Americans who are deaf and is one of so several communication options used by the deaf or the hard of hearing. Now, eventually the people from Martha's Vineyard branched out and they left the island in the 1800s to attend the first American school for the deaf established in Hartford, Connecticut in 1817 by Thomas Hopkins. He traveled to France to learn more about communication with the deaf and there he was welcomed to the School for the Deaf in Paris, which used sign as a method of instruction. There he met Laurent Clerc, a deaf teacher and a graduate from the School for the Deaf. Hopkins convinced Clerc to travel back to Hartford with him and together they founded the American School for the Deaf. People came to the school from all over and everyone who came had different versions of sign language, but they worked together and eventually created ASL. Over time, more and more schools for the deaf opened around America and now sign language plays a major role in developing deaf identity. So this leads me into my second point, which is deaf identity. Deaf identity is when a deaf person accepts that there is nothing wrong with being deaf and they are not second best or a failure or anything else with a negative label. Now sign language plays a major role in developing deaf identity because without that, there would be a communication barrier. So whenever we're happy, and or we're excited about something, we want to go and tell our friends or our family. And whenever we're sad, we want to express how we feel. And ASL is just another way for the deaf to further do that. So learning sign language is something that the hearing could all really benefit from so that there isn't that communication barrier. In today's day and age, a lot of parents teach their babies simple signs like more and hungry so that they know like what their baby wants and that they can communicate with them better. And then now this leads me on to my last point, which is why sign language is important in today's society. So sign, sign language is all around us. Like I said in my intro, like the world is coming more and more together each and every day. So knowing sign language is an important skill set or knowing any language is an important skill set. Um, even if you don't know everything and you're not fluent in sign language, um, ASL is something I think everyone should know. I started trying to learn sign language about two years ago and I'm definitely not fluent in it, but I definitely do know some signs. But another thing to mention is ASL can help us be more open to learning. So what I mean by this is sign language is a language where you are using many expressions. You're not just using your hands, but you're using your facial expressions and your body movements to express how you feel. So if I were to say, no way, I'm not gonna go skydiving, I didn't use my hands, I didn't use my face, I was just very monotone and I didn't really show like my emotions through my body movements, my body posture. So instead I would say, no way, like I'm not gonna go skydiving and I would be very expressive about it and I would use like, what I have to show that I don't want to go skydiving, even though going skydiving would be pretty cool. But this is why I think ASL is such 
a cool thing and how it would really help people because it would help them furthermore understand others' emotions better and help them be able to connect with other people. But now I've gone over the history of ASL. I've gone over how ASL helps furthermore develop deaf identity and the importance of sign language in today's society. And I hope that you have learned a little bit more about sign language and the beauty of this unspoken language that I think we would all really be benefited from by learning. So now I wanna end my speech by not saying thank you for listening, but thank you for learning.